We sat down with AB legend Bobby Hebert to talk about his sports career here at AB. He was part of the football team that won four Super Bowls in 52 games in a row. He also played basketball and baseball. The basketball team won three league titles with him. We asked Bobby what it was like to play football for Coach Maver here at AB and what it was like to be part of the 52 win streak team. Uh, it was great. Um, it's a great experience. Coach Maver, you know, he, he believes that, you know, you got to be a hard worker, and um, I was kind of that type of player. So um, that was, you know, I think it was in that way it was, it was easy for me to, to, to play for Coach Maver because he, you know, expected you to work hard and, uh, care about your teammates and put your you know team first and uh, others second uh, or uh, yourself second. So you know I kind of fit that mold where I was that type of player. So um, in that way it was it was easy to play for Coach Maver. Yeah, it was great. Um, I mean it was a great experience. It really was. Like the sense of community here was um, everyone believed in going to the football game on Friday night and. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where we won a few games the first year and then kept the streak going. And, you know, I think the term we used was, um, you know, live each day and uh, stay in the moment. Um, so, I mean, the next thing you know, we've, we've won 50 games. And it was awesome. It was fun. We asked Bobby what it was like to win four Super Bowls playing football here at AB. I would say it was awesome. Um, it was, we had 50, 60, 70 kids that were uh, working toward one goal of winning the Super Bowl. And, you know, to do it four years was, it was uh, unique and uh, it was a great experience. So, um, something that I still, still, uh, even though I'm, that was 15 years ago, 10 years ago, whatever, it's still special. After high school, Bobby moved on to play linebacker at Yale University and was named captain alongside his brother of the 2008 Yale football team. We talked to Bobby Aber about how it was like for playing for Yale football and how it was like for being captain. It was, it was great because uh, high school is a um, different brand of football, kind of. You got some kids who are maybe not the most talented, but work hard and build a sense of camaraderie and it's great and then you get to the college level and it's really everyone's talented everyone's good so the sense of competition is that much more so um, you know, getting to that level where you have to compete against those kids and then go out and play in the games and you know it was, it was uh, to answer your question the college game was I think a little more fun than game days while practices High school football, I think, was more fun day to day. So, um, I think it just meant, you know, I'm not, I'm not big about having these titles or whatever. Um, I think captaincy is something that, you know, others elect you to, to be captain. It's an honor and privilege to be captain because you're kind of selected as this person who chosen to lead, and, and it's about leadership. And, um, you know, for me, I, I just consider myself one of the leaders, but to be selected amongst my peers, to be a captain, you know, it was uh, an honor and a privilege, and uh, you know, it meant something to me, yeah. We asked Bobby Bear what it was like to attend Kansas City Chiefs training camp. Uh, it was great. Um, I, th I think it was a challenge because you're going against guys who are, you know, some of the best of the best, and um, I, I felt like I held my own. But at the same time, you, know, you want being a competitor. You want I wanted to stay there. I wanted to complete, keep playing in the NFL. Um, that didn't happen, but uh, it was a great experience to to go there and uh, compete against some of the best. Bobby also played basketball here in high school. We talked to him about what it was like to win three league titles with the varsity team here at AB. It was great. Three years where each team was unique, kind of uh, in their own way. Uh, so it was great, three great teams that we had. And um, you know, when you see them, they're, <laughs> they got photos of the teams here. And uh, 
Then that, that was, that's cool. That's to uh, have that experience. We asked Coach Kilpatrick, Bobby's old basketball coach, what it was like to coach a player like Bobby. Bobby was uh, a great player. He played four years of varsity basketball for me, and, and I know he was a, a very good baseball player and a tremendous football player. Bobby was always intense. He was a great competitor, um, absolutely hated to lose. Every day in practice, he, he brought it, and four years of coaching him, I don't think I ever had to say, hey, Bobby, you know, pick up the intensity today or work a little harder today. Um, and I think that his intensity and his consistency of uh, intensity just elevated everybody else and, and made us a better team. And certainly one of the most competitive kids that I've ever had the, um, the honor and pleasure of coaching. We asked Bobby what his favorite moment in his entire sports career was. I thought you might ask that question. That was one of the, um, I don't know if I have a favorite moment. There's a bunch of moments that, um, that I think about often. And, uh, whether it be my freshman year, we beat a team. And, and uh, Peabody, they were one of the great teams. They were, uh, hey, this kid had scored, Bettencourt, who was scoring 50, I don't know, 30, 40 points a game. We shut him down. And we went to the, Boston Garden because we won that game. Um, and then there's other memories. My sophomore year, a you know, bunch of kids that, friends of mine who I played football with, we went to, won the Super Bowl, and uh, that was probably one of the best, most talented teams we had. Um, and then, you know, one other memory, I guess, is uh, like my junior year, both football and basketball teams. We, we weren't the most talented team, but we we won a lot of games. And um, specifically, that football team, we won the Super Bowl that year. That No one was expecting us to kind of win that year. And uh, our basketball team, the same gym in Salem, we won a game that nobody expected us to win. And so that was uh, another uh, great feat, great uh, victory.